Daily Big Cat is a behind the scenes look at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> remember him ever being sick. When was it? The reason we um, sedated him in his cage instead of catching him was he, in May, he hadn't, had only eaten half of his diet for 10 days in a row. And when we went in to catch him with a net, he got so angry he bit the net and he had one bad tooth and he broke three good teeth. Oh man. So, I didn't want to get why you sedated him instead. Yeah. It's better just to dart him and the good news is some of those teeth were resorbing lesions, so the ones he broke might have been bad teeth. You know what I mean? Yeah, they might have been weak because they're, they're resorbing, they get weak. Banshee the Bobcat is 17 years old, and he hasn't eaten for the last couple of days. So we decided that we would have to sedate him, weigh him, do some blood work and other analysis to see if there's anything we can do to help this precious little bobcat. And I was telling her there may be something right here. I don't know if it's a lymph node or uh, here on the VD, you can see it a little better. It's kind of a, it's almost like a mass mm -hmm. coming off of your hand. So I'm not sure if that is anything. The only way to really tell would be ultrasound and aspirated. I wasn't having notation of a heart murmur. So that thing by the heart could be some kind of tumor or heart disease and not murmur it could be new. Mm -hmm. So it is possible, I mean, as cats age, they can get different kinds of heart disease. And the most common is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which is uh, the heart muscle gets larger, but you can't really see that on extra. It's more an ultrasound type diagnosis. And so I think it's kind of wait and see if she's not doing better, we may, he's not doing better, we may have to ultrasound the heart um, and possibly ultrasound around the heart to see if we can figure out what that small little lump is. It could just be part of the aorta, but it's something to investigate. And Did you do open heart surgery on a No, no, care? no, but uh, the biggest concern about uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is that they they can throw clots, um, which we know with little feather throwing clots over back leg and trying it off. So it is something to know. There are some blood thinners and things like that we can put them on if that's the case, but we wouldn't want to do that without knowing. There was some abscesses and, and like I was- uh, In his mouth. In his mouth. And there's one obvious one and here I'll show you this on a picture. It kind of gives you an idea. So these are his canines, which look practically perfect. They're almost identical. Um, and Great tongue shot too, is it? <laughs> the papillae, is that the word? And then this is the good canine. You kind of see this really nice bone. And then this is the other canine. It kind of gets, there's some bone loss. There's kind of a area here, plus the root canal opens up at the tip. So definitely some mm. spondylosis here. There's some uh, changes to the spine here, but it's actually a little bit more significant right here. Mm -hmm. He had pain meds on board and I uh, did local blocks on his mouth. And there were little teeth as well that came out? <laughs> Molars. So not really that little. Um, but after you pulled the tube? I pulled teeth? two that I saw that looked suspicious on x-ray and then when I was cleaning up two other ones, I found some pockets or resorptive lesions, and so I had to remove those two as well. So you've got four molars and a canine in front of it. Yeah. He has no teeth on... Three molars. Three, three molars and a canine. When he was like gasping, was that hiccups or was he really gasping? No, I think he it's was just... because he's got two, so he oh, kind of wakes gagging. up and he's like, what is this in my mouth? Yeah. What was that when he started waking up? He's, his, um... Blood pressure is really, really low. Really low. And, and he so, has a heart murmur. And so we were trying really hard to keep him on the lighter edge. But when he was on, even, we had him pretty on a nice amount of gas that would hold down most cats and he was still trying to get up. So we reversed him because he was, his blood pressure was just so bad. Mm -hmm. I gave him a long acting, uh, a long acting 
acting payment that last three days, I gave him an anti-inflammatory, I gave him an anti-nausea, and like a GI protective injection, and a long-acting antibiotic. So right now, he's not doesn't need anything until about three days from now. That's good news. So, yeah. Now he'll just start eating. Mm -hmm. All right, let's uh, let's get him over. Is it mm -hmm. one, two, three? Yes, the very guys are like perfectly matched height wise. <laughs> that doesn't usually happen. Yeah, usually it's a short person and a really tall person. <laughs> So, without x-ray, I probably wouldn't pull this tooth, but with x-ray, I pulled it, because it looks bad. It looks the worst at all of the teeth. So. Please subscribe and share Big Cat Rescue's videos to help save big cats.